What's up, guys? We're going to trade nominate right now. We do have 88. I think I started with 88 trades for her. We're going to go for raid trades. And let's just see how long it takes to get raid trades and how many trade medals we have to go through. So not off to a hot start, but that's only four out of... This is the fifth one. Out of 85 or 88 traits. So let's see how many it takes in total to actually roll traits that we want. So I think I'm going to go for four, uh, from five raid traits, actually. Okay, extra attack's not bad. I will keep it for now, for sure. Let's go middle. I'll hold on to that for sure for the time being, until we get all our raid traits, at least. I do want to make this copy a raid copy, like a pure raid copy. So I can make sure I just kind of skip through medals instead of having to waste time with extra attack. I have all these trade medals, by the way, from um, the Black Friday sale way back in the day. First raid trade, not bad, okay. Yeah, so there was a Black Friday sale back in November. That was a very long time ago, it seems like. It's actually been six months since that, but I definitely should have bought trades for Decidia Sephiroth at the time as well. Uh, we'll take ground for now, I guess. I don't want the metal to get confused and start getting us PvP, uh, PvE traits, but... <laughs> um, just kidding, that's that's not a thing, but... I do want my raid traits, so send them over this way. We have rolled a lot of 2,000 strength. Let's skip that. So we are at 10 trait rolls so far. This is number 11, I want to say. Ariel, no, we're getting the opposite of what we want. We want this to be a PvP, I mean a raid copy, not a PvP copy or a PvE copy. Give us more raid trades. I will be utterly devastated if 88 trades does not equate to a perfectly traded metal. In the sense that it, it won't become a metal that I want it to be um, based, with, based off 88 trades. I did this experiment before with Master Ava, Supernova Plus Master Ava, or just Ava, I think it is, um, and I think it took me 17 traits to get perfect traits on her. Could be wrong, I don't really remember. Okay, so we got some raids going. Gages. We'll speed this up by tapping. And a lot of you guys are wondering actually if tapping makes, like gives you a better chance of getting something you actually want. I'd say no. I mean like it's just RNG regardless, right? So even if you tap once and then leave it for the second roll, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, you can leave it, you can tap, you can do a tap whenever you want, doesn't really matter. Gonna get the same trait regardless of what you, or when you tap, or what if you don't tap. There we go. I'll take that. Some people like to think that tapping does help and give you better luck here and there, just depending on when you tap and stuff. I don't believe in that, but it is fun to tap once in a while if you have a bunch of trait rolls to go through, like I do right now. It's kind of crazy to think that this is only my third copy of Nomine. Since Nomine came out a long time ago. And it was accessible in the Drop Points Banner. I do remember pulling Nomine on the very first pull. Like the free pull. Oh, okay, there we go. On the free pull. Um, when she came out. Because she came out with a free pull on her banner. Which was pretty sweet back in the day. We don't have that very much nowadays. But I think it was a 10 pull Mercy back then. So I guess that makes some sense as to why um, we got a free pull. But still, 10 pull mercies are insane, guys. I would not recommend the game go back to it. By the way, I got this nominee. If you haven't seen my last video, I got this nominee from the Draw Points banner. And I um, got yeah, pretty happy with the pull because it's the new revised Draw Points banner, but I did not obviously get one of the new medals that are on it, such as the Xi'an Renova medal, 
or Leon or Roxas or the 100 Acre Woods medals. I don't think those were on the old, old draw points banner, but I could be wrong. There we go. Perfect traits. For nominee, that's what we wanted. It took 27 trait medals in total to get five raid traits, which is exactly what we wanted. It is a boosted medal already because it's from the draw points banner. Let's level her up. And there you have it, guys. We will throw a Lux++ plus plus skill on her. Because I will definitely be using this right away in my raid setup. So I'll scroll down to here. I think I only have one Lux++ plus plus skill. It's a Lux++ plus plus 8 skill. Or attack boost uh, 8 max Lux++. Plus plus, so I will definitely toss that on to Nomine here. Because she is going to be a great medal for raiding. And we'll throw her right... Right here, basically. We'll do that even. Just because this copy does have extra attack, so I will might as well just start buffing myself up early. And then I can start just going with one uh, hit medals, because extra attack does slow you down quite a bit in raiding, but that's okay. My raid setup will definitely kill now, even if I don't pop Supernova, so... That's the end of the video, guys. Anyways, I will catch you all soon. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. And, um, yeah, look forward to more Kingdom Hearts Union Cross videos. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Kingdom Hearts Union Cross content. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.